Hello, in this video I'm going to cover the Elastic Catch CloudFormation Blueprint. I'm going to cover Memcache in this video. The Blueprint can be used to provision either a Memcache or Redis cluster because essentially it's just using Elastic Catch here. Most of the resource properties are configurable with parameters. Additionally, uh, some properties that are more complicated are configured with variables. So this Blueprint is pretty flexible and you configure for your needs. There are three steps here to get using it. You add the blueprint in your gem file, you configure some values, and you deploy it. Here's the line you add. Uh, and then um, to configure, we're gonna use this little C command. That's gonna generate uh, the starter configs for you, and then you can modify them to suit your needs. Here's an example of some configurations right here, like if you want to change the engine to memcache, or from, uh, from Redis to memcache, you could just change it right here. And the VPC ID, you need a VPC ID in this blueprint to launch the uh, node into a VPC. And here's the deploy command. Here's some more configuration details down here talking about how you can change the engine if you want to. Here's something about security groups. So security groups, you can either pass existing security groups by sending this parameters here, right here, VPC security group IDs. If you do, if you do not pass that, then a managed secure group is going to be created for you and it's going to be associated with the nodes. You can specify a cache subnet group if you have an existing one by just specifying the cache subnet group name. If you don't have an existing one, that's not a problem. You just specify subnets and then it's going to use that subnet information to build a managed cache subnet group and then associate that with the uh, Elastic Cache nodes. If you need to uh, customize more things, you can actually do a customize any property with that variable down there. So I cover the uh, entire readme there. So we should be ready to jump to the demo now. So here I have a, um, a Lono project right here. I'm going to throw this in here. Instead of using that line, I'm going to go ahead and go blueprint elastic catch because it's just a wrapper method above there defined right there that does the same thing. Once that's in, you just run bundle to install it. Then you go Lono seed elastic, elastic cache. So that's gonna generate some starter configurations right here. There you go. So let's take a look at some of these real quick. Memcache, okay, and VPC. So for VPC, this is required. Uh, I'm gonna. You could go grab your default VPC, or you could use the built-in Lono helper method here, VPC, or you could specify VPC that uh, a custom VPC. So I'm just gonna use actually the, this Lono helper method, uh, default VPC to set, uh, specify specify the default VPC. So subnets here. Um, I don't. Uh, I'm just gonna use the default VPC here for the sake of this demo. Uh, so I'm going to actually just grab also the default subnets. So to grab the default subnets, there's another helper method called default subnets. It's all in the Lono documentation. And that returns an array. And here's expecting a list, a comma separate list. So I'm going to have to join it. So that should take care of the VPC, the kick, take care of the subnets here. See anything else we want to configure. Those are existing security groups. We don't have one in this case. We're going to have it create and manage the security group for us. Uh, and the rest of this stuff is optional. So uh, I think we are ready to go ahead and launch this now. So let's go back to the readme real quick. Readme says here's the launch command. So I'm going to grab that launch command. Launch it. So there we go. It should be, um, it should say create in progress soon. There it goes. It says create in progress. So let's go verify that on the AWS console here. Affirmation Council shows is being created in progress. You can see the events right here. So it's creating uh, the catch uh, subnet group by using those subnet IDs, and it's going to create the security group and it's going to manage that because I gave it um, a VPC ID. So this is going to take a couple minutes. So I'm going to pause so you don't have to wait. All right. So the stack finished creating. It took let's see, 2035 to 2039. So about four and a half minutes ish. I guess four minutes and 19 seconds according here. So let's uh, see what was created. It created a class cluster, a cluster, a class a subnet group, and a security group. Let's actually see the resource here in the Elastic Cache Council also. So we go here, we see a memcache, and uh, we see the node right here. So the cluster name here and the tags. And uh, that's about it. Here's the security group also. Okay. So that was pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty simple uh, to create a 
Elasticache memcache node, all you have to do is uh, add the line to your gem file, configure some values, and deploy, and then you're off and ready to go. Okay, hopefully you found that video helpful. Cheers.